So a little time has passed off screen and I have quite the majority of our roof parts here um, textured up and UV'd properly. Um, that UV is not exactly proper but uh, you can see that it, it's it's the majority of it is there. I left two pieces here that I'm going to deal with. To do these I'm going to be using two paid add-ons and uh, I, I just want to stress though if people aren't into buying these add-ons so don't feel like you can't get any further you can do the exact same process on these that we've done up to this point on the other roof segments. The whole point of me showing this or these add-ons and how they work is because I personally use them and I personally recommend them as well because what took us hours to do this will take us minutes with this. Just like the add-ons really speed up the way we work. They almost automate the process of cutting the UVs and getting them sized into your into your tile and then getting them fitting everything. Like rotation is a press of a button, scale is the press of a button, everything is there's no more farting about with turning your constraint on and off and getting lost in the window and things not working properly and Blender's legacy UVs they just really need a kick in the ass and if buying these add-ons makes it a little easier I'm well for it but in in fact it actually makes it kind of fun so it turns the worst part of this particular pipeline from being a torturous labor drag to actually you, you have quite a lot of fun experimenting with these add-ons and the kind of availability that your textures will have using these add-ons I think you'll see for yourself but um, I, I kept these objects here undone because I wanted to show how those add-ons work and I'll, uh, for the people who do buy them I'll get you up to speed on what you need to do to kind of get this workflow working better for you. With that then we're kind of done with the rules for for now. Um, I will be adding more but I think because I'm trying to shorten the, the length of these videos I think maybe 20 minutes is a little a little much so once I have the walls and all kind of done and show how they work I'm gonna try to focus on doing shorter videos about dedicated to one prop or one asset per video rather than spending seven videos in a row just cutting and optimizing this stuff because it really triggered a burnout in in me personally but I'm sure a lot of people were kind of feeling that like a lot of people kind of stopped following these videos or gave up because it wasn't fun and I, I, I understand that this part of the process isn't fun it's, it's a chore I do it every day and sometimes I want to pull my hair out it, it really does kind of burn people out so if we can make this process even a little more fun I'm, I'm, I'm game for it so I think the way to go about that would be shorter videos and more focus on one object rather than just having this vast ocean of crap that we have to do for the next 10 videos so it, it, that's no that's not enticing anybody to kind of open blender I think so I kind of went the wrong way about that I kind of feel now 20 videos into the series but you know maybe from this point on I kind of learned from that and we, we can make it a little bit fun again so hopefully you didn't lose hope on this and um, on that note as well I have prepared a little wall segment here just to show what we're going to be making so this is this is going to be the focus of the next couple of videos we're going to cut up all our walls and we're going to add these little these extra little details in there this is kind of where it gets gets much more fun you can see the diversity in the in, in the way we're using different kind of bricks for the wall you know kind of bordering it with they're, they're different textures and now that i have my if i go to my image editor here i've started on this extra texture atlas now there's going to be a couple of these i know i keep saying that but i'm going to try to get a lot more different types of material that we could use to kind of bring a little more visual appeal in into the design but um this is yeah this is going to be the next couple of videos we're going to get all these walls done we're going to play with different types of bricks that we can actually make like borders around windows or you know let's have a lot of fun with it i guess and um, again it's all completely tileable the way it's set well 
the stone is. These guys are just kind of put on there for the sake. Uh, I didn't put a lot of work into them, into these. So you can probably see that they don't tile very well here. But when I'm going through this in the video, I'll go through it properly. And you will have a much better understanding about what you need to do here. This is all the doing tool or doing using tools that we have used before, like the shear tool, just to get that corner. But a lot of it is actually easy now because we have these objects on our root segments here. We can actually just copy them and reuse things that we've already spent our, our time working on, you know. But yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be uh, a lot less of a drag that, like the roofs were uh, after. When you're doing the same thing for 10 videos, I think I think it just kind of feels that way. It kind of feels like it's never ending. But uh, no, it is ending and it's it's going to be better. Promises. Um, yeah, with that, I think this video will be a short one. It's just kind of letting people know what's coming up. I will be uploading two videos, hopefully today um, or tomorrow, maybe. But this is just uh, an, an intermission to let people know that there's more coming. The rules are almost done. It's kind of just like a what to expect, I guess. So, yeah, well, actually we're going to spend a bit of time making little props, like fuse boxes and stuff for these things that we can use as well. You know, maybe solar panels on the roof or something. I want to make some edging that covers that. That sharp edge looks bloody awful. And maybe we'll look up some reference and see what else comes to mind. But we're going to make this a lot more interesting. So yeah, I hope people are still with me and uh, it's still fun. And we'll get into the actual fun stuff now. 